when I looked at this image, the first thing I looked for was a major angle. Obviously, here's a major angle. The thrust in her neck is pretty major. And then you also have this major angle over here and over here. And then also the nose tends to be a typical place to put a strong angle. So then I look for the repeating angle. So here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one. Have this, and I would assume that this angle here is the same as here, but just flipped. So one's an obtuse angle, one's an acute angle. When I look at the nose and the hair, I kind of get the same feeling that really, for the most part, um, you're just looking at an acute and an obtuse version of that rectangle, I mean of that diagonal. When I look up at the hair and I see this angle, that tells me that it's most likely just a reciprocal of, of this. So I wanted to test that real quick. So here I, I created a line with this angle. I then duplicated it and you can see this little part on her collarbone here it falls in that angle, it comes up through here. Um, the shadow, the value where the shadow is on that, where the light of the neck is and the shadow is, creates that angle. You can see it coming down, forming that jaw. Obviously the nose, the back of the hair, and so they, they fit on that angle. All I did was duplicate, I put that in a little folder, duplicated it, and then, and then flipped it. So now we have the, the opposite direction of that angle. Same angle, but just the opposite. So then it gave me this line back here. It gave me the throat. It gave me the point from the nose to the chin, the hairline here, and then also this strong diagonal here in the hair. Then I took it and I flipped it. I made a reciprocal of it. So basically the main diagonal will be a portrait orientation if you put a notional space around the diagonal. So then these, if we put a notional space around here, it would be a horizontal, um, a landscape orientation. And and so that's the reciprocal. So if I take the reciprocal of that same exact angle, you can see here how perfectly that fits in. The top of the hair, the right up underneath the nose is a line that comes up into the top of the ear, just the little parts of the shoulder. And then also from this point up to that corner, there's a lot of little little lines that kind of land on there. The bottom of this sheesh, um, pattern top here so for some reason that's a pretty strong line and then again I took it and I flipped it you can see how the top of the hair here this part of the hair where it gets a lighter value comes into this darker area creates this line this thrust here the hairline top of the ear all of the constructions of the eye the nose I mean the bottom of the ear the angle of the nose the angle of the lip and also there's things in the patterns down here that fall on this this diagonal. You can see how these really major parts of this composition are all locked into this one angle. I took this set of angles and I brought in the, the gauge. When trying to line them up, you can see here down at the bottom that you know the root four, it's not working. The root three, it's not working. So as I went down, boom, the root five is what hit that thing almost perfect. The artist is going to construct the piece based on the gamut given from the rectangle that he's using. So it's clear to me that he's using the gamut of a root 5 rectangle. He may have overlapped those. And we can even try that real quick. Let's see here. Say so if we take one of these, we put it up in that corner. Boom. Okay, so now that gives us that. Let's see how many times this goes into. come up one here and we're probably going to be about halfway the middle there so if we take that root five and we go across we come up one root five come down one root five and put one in the center there so that they overlap you can see here how her nose pops in here the hair comes up through here this line is set into place um, I'm not sure this is what he did but you can see right here this line and this line converge right on that eye creating an eye right there um, this is coming up through here so that's that's a possibility I'm not convinced that that's what what's really going on here so let's try another 
quick solution and see if we come down through here and we come over yeah that's a solution it's two overlapping root fives so you can see the root five coming through here you can see that face is totally constructed right in there the back of that hair is here so that's what he's doing it's two overlapping root fives that gives him the root five armature which then gives him all of this construction. Cool?